now I am a member of staff. I was given the chance to take training courses and given the ability to help others on their road to recovery. I'm very passionate about the work that I do, but I know that without Red Rose's support, I would never have been able to achieve what I have today. Thanks to everyone. Hi guys, my name's Lynn and I work for Red Rose Recovery. I'm also a part of the Lancashire User Forum. I'm part of the central team. Um, I can honestly say that I have my dream job as I absolutely love what I'm doing, helping others. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I've been participating in groups for over six months and I find them very useful and informative. It's a genuine regime of guidance. I couldn't have got through my recovery without the help of Red Rose Recovery Groups. The leaders are patient and confidential. Uh, when everyone who comes onto group is uh, always happy to be a part of the group and um, the discussions are always safe and uh, everyone is uh, very well listened to. My self growth through group uh, has inspired me to be a better person all around. Oh, my name's Rodney Graylish. Um, I moved into recovery homes about six weeks ago. Um, obviously, with the coronavirus, everyone's been stuck indoors and my depression and anxiety has gone through the roof. But basically I got passed on to the groups which I've engaged in and I found them really helpful. There's a lot of different types of groups so you can you know you can go and just do quizzes and bingo if you want. You can do groups have good chats and good network of friends I've met through it. I like the fact that you can basically if you're not feeling up to it that day you can take your screen off so your picture's not showing and basically just just listen if you want so you're not you're not like you don't have to interact you can just listen and it really helps when you're feeling low and basically it really helps just to, to start meeting people and get ready for the end of it but yeah i definitely recommend it as it really helped me through all these times where i don't know anyone i've met new friends met when i met people at coffee it's, a, it's, it's good just to get out there and stop stuff from just being stuck in the four walls really it's a good starting point so yeah, I recommend the groups big time. Thanks, cheers. Hi, I've just been asked to do this to talk about Red Rose Recovery and what it's done for me. Uh, well, firstly, did a £10 voucher for winning a quiz. And we're not very brainy. But thank you, that's Red Rose Recovery. Since I've met these people, I have had so much support love and learn to sort of like myself a little bit. I'm a recovering alcoholic, um, lots and lots of hard times, um, but I'm here, I'm sober, I'm in recovery um, and I'm getting so much support from these people and I have such a laugh um, and it's just like one big family, big, big hug for people who understand each other, empathise, can get it. Um, they're all a bit. We're all a bit broken biscuits, but I like broken biscuits. So um, I just want to say thank you to Red Rose for everything that you've done for me. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to give back and volunteer. Um, but it just goes to show that we can do it. It's um, it's tough. It's not nice. It's not nice feeling. It's all a bit strange. But do you know what? I wake up in the morning and I know that I haven't hurt anybody. I haven't done anything. I am not in a cell. So I feel so much better and I was a mess. I was a mess, mentally, physically a mess. Um, not in a good place, but I just want to say thank you. Red Rose Recovery. Hi, my name's Leanne Davis. Um, I came to Red Rose um, in March and I went through some um, personal stuff that they've helped me with. They've helped me grow 
um, since then I've been I've been um, applied for college courses because they give me that confidence. And when I've gone through tough times, they've been there for me, um, and they've been kind and they've been understanding and compassionate and they're really good people. And I would advise anyone to join these groups because you'll get a lot out of it. You'll get empowered out of it, and you won't feel alone. You feel like you've got someone there with you that that understands what you're going through. Um, I've met some absolutely beautiful people through um, Red Rose and the group. You know, at the moment I'm doing the leadership group, which um, I'm learning a lot about myself and my boundaries. And I just think these groups are so important to each individual. So, I, like I said, I would advise anyone to do this. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for, to Red Rose Recovery um, for the £20 Morrison's voucher for me and Max. Um, we've been struggling a bit recently and it's going to come in really handy, uh, help us get some shopping in and etc. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robin. I just want to talk for a few minutes about Red Rose Recovery and my experience with them. Um, so I came out of uh, a uh, CBT based rehab, second attempt, and I kind of got it. So uh, they arranged a halfway house uh, for me in Preston and uh, I went along there and uh, was introduced to Inspire and quickly uh, uh, became associated with the really good Red Rose groups that were um, on pretty much daily. So here and now, men's group. It was a place where uh, I always felt safe. A uh, place where I could say what the hell I like, it was very confidential. A uh, place where I was with people who understood I was going through. You see, I got the practical, I, I knew it all, I just need, I needed time, good people around me, good advice, um, so that I could find my own path and my own way forward, my own recovery. I tried other groups, uh, AA, uh, not for me, uh, others as well, maybe I wasn't for them. But Red Rose were a constant, and uh, people such as Glenn, Scott, and Liz, uh, they were kind of always there for me, and that's important in recovery. Even to the point where uh, I found myself looking for a second halfway house, and Scott pulled a few strings, and I ended up at a much better place um, with Russ and Terry at uh, Waterloo Road, Phoenix Futures. So I was feeling better in my own skin generally, so I, uh, I began to volunteer for Red Rose. I did that for a little while. Uh, time's a huge healer, uh, quite a cliche, but it's true. And uh, after a while, I just felt comfortable enough to branch out on my own. So I looked at the job market and I found myself a job and moved away from Preston. I'll never forget the support, uh, practical support I had from uh, those three people and others at Red Rose. Uh, I'll be eternally grateful and recommend to anybody who uh, finds themselves in uh, Lancashire, look up with Red Rose. I'll sort you out. Hi, my name's Peter, I'm uh, 37 years old. I've been a member of uh, Red Rose Recovery for, I'd say about eight weeks now. Um, this is just part of a little bit video diary that I do for myself, um, you know, when I'm struggling, etc. And one thing that I really want to mention about Red Rose for me, um, to, for just an example, the other night, Saturday night, I was really struggling, you know, and, um, picked up my phone and I, and I rung a member of their staff down there at Red Rose and the phone didn't even ring and someone was at the end of it for me 
Uh, you don't know what that did for me. Well, maybe you did. Maybe you do. You know, it, it, just the fact that somebody's there when you pick that phone up is is massively important. You know, there's, there's there's so many things that can go wrong when you're trying to reach out to people and you don't get that thing back that you need. You know, and these guys are there on a Saturday night at eight o'clock. Whatever time you need them to be there, they're there. And um, they're a detriment to people like myself and other recovering addicts out there. Um, I'm just really thankful for Red Rose Recovery and what they do for, for people. Um, thank you, Red Rose. You're saving my life. Hi everyone, I've been asked to share in under one minute and that's a difficult thing just what I get out of Red Rolls Recovery and the Lancashire User Forum and, and to me that's that's easy that um, seeing somebody experience the joy of you know getting their kids back out of care or preventing them going in or rebuilding the relationship with the parents after 10 years uh, just being around that type of energy and positivity is amazing but what's even better than that is when that person realizes that they have the ability to expand that into other people's world um, it becomes a chain reaction of, of positivity uh, and that's what I love, that's what I um, thrive on. I just want more and more and more and more of that. Hi guys, how are you? So I'm Glenn, I'm one of the team leaders for Red Rose Recovery and advocate at the Lens User Forum. I'm just doing a short video just to let you know what I do and how to get involved. So I started volunteering with Lancashire Youth Forum and Red Rose Recovery about three, three years ago and what it did for me was massive. So I've come from a life of crime, substances and heartache and trauma. So um, when I started volunteering about three years ago, I did the purpose for what we for and it was like a family really. And from that, I could um, progress So all you have to do to get involved is go to the Red Rose Recovery website, you can send us a message and one of the team will get in 